Okay, so I've been thinking about this recent interview that I heard with um, Father Gregory Boyle, who I think many of us in the community know of. He's a Catholic Jesuit priest, and he uh, was living in the inner city Los Angeles neighborhoods for uh, decades, since the 80s, trying to help people uh, kind of get out of poverty. Um, so I just happened to come across this interview, and I thought, oh yeah, Father Gregory Boyle, like, I really like him. I read his books, Tattoos on the Heart, uh, Barking to the Choir, and I was, I was very moved by what he was saying in this interview because, you know, it sounded like he was talking a lot about Buddha nature and bodhicitta, and, you know, he's using different language, but it was like the same thing, and... He actually literally did use the words Buddha nature. He said, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you see God in others, Buddha nature, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and, oh, you know, you know when someone is speaking and they just, you just, it really comes from a place of conviction and it just sounded like, you know, he lives by that. He, he embodies that and, uh, yeah. Through his work, he also embodies this uh, Buddha. I mean, this this understanding that others have Buddha nature, that others have such great potential um, to become incredibly beautiful human beings. Um, and you can see that he has this. I don't know what this is like—a realization or just a maybe it's an attitude. I guess uh, he. He, he has this attitude, and he expresses it through his work. That's just so clear. It's just very obvious. And in the interview, he talked about this attitude of having what he called this no matter whatness, this no matter whatness, this attitude that no matter what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help these people, and not in like a pushy kind of way. You know, he's, he's not really like that more like the door's always open. And he, he said this phrase many times, the door is always open. If, if these people who, these people who live on the street, they, you know, they had really difficult upbringings where there was domestic abuse, there was violence, there was getting into gangs, there was shooting, there was you know, incarceration again and again. He said, the door's always open to these folks if they want to come into Homeboy Industries, which is, according to the website, uh, the largest gang rehabilitation and reentry program in the world. And, and I thought, wow, yeah, he has this attitude. That's like Bodhicitta, you know? Like, he's, he doesn't give up on these people. So yeah, that's like Bodhicitta. And it's just so inspiring to see people in the world who, who embody these, who have these attitudes and who express these attitudes in various ways. Like, it seems like Father Gregory Boyle, he has this kind of bodhicitta attitude and he's expressing it in, in that way of helping people rehabilitate. And I thought I would just share something else. I went to their website channel, uh, sorry, their YouTube channel, because I was curious, and I found out that they have these talks, these, these, daily, these daily motivations called Thought for the Day, and they have like 790 of them because they've been doing it for years, every day. You can see this crowd of people, that's Homeboy Industries, and um, you know, this is, I think this is a... Uh, Jose, yeah. I've watched some of his motivations, and man, he gives such good motivations. They're so inspiring. Um, so I just, so many people give motivations here at Homeboy Industries, and they really, they speak from their heart. And, you know, they get really nervous, too. They come up there and take a mic and 
they don't really want to do it, and they say they don't want to do it, and they're like, I'm really nervous, but <laughs> Father Gregory Boyle's there, and he's like, yep, it's your turn to give motivation to everybody at Homeboy to help them to keep going today, to make their life better, to happier, you know, whatever. So I love Jose's motivations, and um, all of them are really good, but Okay, so that's Cynthia. I also love Cynthia's motivation. She's like, <laughs> she's so confident, and I just, I learned so much from these people. They talk about the difficulties that they've overcome in their lives, and it's just kind of amazing to hear what they've been through and how they've uh, grown. And what's really cool is that you get to know them. Kind of, I guess that's kind of like how people watch our BBCs and they, you know, I guess they get to know us. And Because when I watch these guys and these women give BBCs uh, thoughts of the day, I just feel so privileged. Wow, like I get to listen to what they're going through, and they have so much to share. And their stories are just so inspiring. And sometimes they will talk about situations that they were just in, like maybe a day before or a week before, and they, they talk about it as if they did it differently. They could have gone into that situation and reacted in the same old ways, you know, got really angry or maybe punched someone, I don't know. But they didn't. And because they're learning how to change their minds, and they talk about that. And Homeboy Industries, I mean, they have classes for anger management, parenting, uh, trying to get a career, you know, job search. Um, they actually have meditation classes, too. So some of these folks, yeah, they talk about learning about their mind and doing things differently. And they talk about ethics, like they're learning about ethics. And um, they talk about being generous, they're learning how to be generous and doing things differently. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I'm, I'm basically just really rejoicing in what this is, like what Homeboy Industries is doing, because when you watch their thoughts of the day, it's like something's going really right. Like it's so right. <laughs> um, this is Eric. I love his motivations. He's hilarious. Anyway. And it's just so obvious when these folks give motivations, like they have such a good heart, they're so intelligent. And they're creating positive karma um, to get out of this cycle and hopefully, you know, hopefully gain a, a good rebirth. I, I also think sometimes they talk about things that, you know, remind me of our monastic life. Uh, often they talk about how because they're trying to get out of this really difficult situation that they're surrounded in, even if it's so familiar and so comfortable to go back to that, to go back to, you know, whatever, drugs, um, abusive relationships, um, criminal activity, whatever, it's so easy, and yet every single day they're waking up and they're doing something different, like they're doing it a different way. They're trying to be a different way in the world. And that's really hard for them. And I think, wow, that's like what we're doing, you know? <laughs> so I turned it back on us and I thought, we're doing the same thing. Uh, <laughs> you know, and maybe our suffering isn't as gross, but we're, we're, we're still trying to renounce, let things go, and it's not easy. And they're doing the same exact thing. So there was one person that I wanted to kind of share their quote that every day she's waking up and doing something differently. And it's really, it's hard, but, but she can't go back to the way she used to live because that would just be momentary gratification. And it was a dead end and she knows where it went. And, you know, she's jumping in the deep end. Like, so, and that's what we're doing. So... I just really was want to rejoice in what Homeboy is doing and the skillfulness, allowing people to contribute and to do something, at least one good thing uh, in the day that makes them feel good about themselves by giving a motivation, by sharing, by contributing. And 
they've inspired me to give BBCs. I, I don't I don't feel I guess I don't feel as afraid maybe to give BBCs after watching them because they just go up there and say whatever. So <laughs> you can too. 